I know that taste matters, but which cereal would win in a fight? Nowadays, watching YouTube is essentially the main form of entertainment during cereal eating, but back in my day, we'd just stare at the cereal box until we got through the whole bowl. Cereal brands knew that this was a key aspect very early on, so they decided to print something interesting to look at. Mascots. Mascots are a fundamental aspect for cereals at this point, and they're all there to try to get you to buy their cereal over the competition. But what if we had an actual competition? General Mills and Kellogg's simply have some of the most iconic characters ever. And with that are all sorts of commercials and ads that show off how cool these characters are, along with showing off all sorts of abilities. So I decided to match these brands' mascots against each other. We have a couple outliers like Cap'n Crunch from Quaker Oats and Flintstones if you even want to count that, but the sheer arsenal of characters from Kellogg's and General Mills means they're perfect candidates for some battles. I made a spreadsheet listing all the mascots I could find for either brand, with some exceptions. Mainly, these mascots have to be currently in action. This means we're using those crazy squares rather than Chef Wendell, and no mascots from discontinued cereals. Next, I decided to count multiple mascots on the same box as one fighter. This means that Snap, Crackle, and Pop will be fighting against one opponent from General Mills, and so on. Once I had the list, I narrowed it down to the most popular mascots from each brand down to nine, so they can face off in 1v1s based on their attributes. Then once we're done with all those fights, we'll do a massive team battle to see which brand would win in an Avengers-style war. It took me a while to match these guys up, but to start, we'll go with the most obvious, Toucan Sam vs. Sunny. Sunny is an absolutely unhinged, human-sized cuckoo bird who loves Cocoa Puffs more than anything. In the commercials, Cocoa Puffs make their way into Sunny's line of sight in one way or another, followed by him going go for Cocoa Puffs! Go for Cocoa Puffs! where he shows off some serious speed and athletic ability to get a hold of them. Sam's commercials, on the other hand, show him going on several pirate-themed adventures, often with his nephews, using maps and searching skills to find the precious loops. Now you might think that this is hands down in Sonny's favor because of his insane behavior, but I think this is also his downfall. See, he only goes cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and while he does cause a lot of destruction, he doesn't seem to have any control over his situation. And it even seems like he's aware of this. He's tried to escape his addiction again and again, but no matter who he asks for help, he keeps getting back into it. But for Kellogg's, Sam seems to be very smart. He's very good at deducing the location of the treasured Fruit Loops, and he makes a lot of on-the-spot decisions like getting a shark to speed up his boat. Sonny can't seem to hide from Cocoa Puffs no matter what he does, and there's no chance he can hide from Toucan Sam. So that was a pretty clear matchup, you know, bird versus bird. But I'll tell you now, most of these don't fit very well. <laughs> I tried my best to get these fights as fair as possible, but let's get a really obvious one out of the way. Cornelius versus Chip. The Cornflakes mascot makes a few decent appearances as an actual rooster, but most of the time he goes all abstract on us. I really hate to say it, but he would simply get destroyed by the cookie wolf over here. Chip the Wolf is seen as a generally clumsy wolf that really wants some cereal, but no matter how sloppy his movements are, I see no chance Cornelius wins this based on body type alone. Next, we got our most wild round, Crave versus those crazy squares. Now, these are very similar in their mass attack ability, and the mascots are the actual cereal themselves. Now, the crazy squares are definitely crazy, but Crave is actually just unhinged. While Cinnamon Toast Crunch has an extreme cannibalism problem, Crave is the most horrific thing to fear if you're made of chocolate. Seriously, the methods that they go to to hunt these chocolate bars down is crazy. Now, I understand that Crave might not go quite as insane for Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I think the crazy squares go a little too hard on friendly fire, making them lose by default. Next, we got a couple quick matches. Mini versus Buzz and Diggum Frog versus Trix. Now, you might think Mini Wheats is another swarm attack like the past competitors, but as their current site shows, Mini is a single character with quite a few attributes. Most notably, probably a master of karate. Maybe this is satire, but I'd bet on this guy winning against a simple bee. Then over here, the Honey Smacks mascot, Diggum Frog, is nothing too special. Kind of just a frog. But the Trix Rabbit shows many similar traits to Sunny and Chip in terms of activity level, which I'd personally say would have an advantage over the frog that kind of just stands there. Now nearing the end, it's time for Kellogg's to face against the gauntlet of monsters from General Mills. 
These spooky cereals originated in the early 70s, starting with Count Chocula and Frankenberry, soon followed by Boo Berry. Going in that order, we'll start with Count Chocula versus Snap, Crackle, and Pop. I'm sorry, but these little gnomes are getting nowhere. He is a vampire, and they're like four inches tall. Now for some big guns. The tank builds for each brand, Frankenberry versus Tony the Tiger. Okay, while Frankenberry is big and scary and like Frankenstein and stuff, Tony the Tiger is an insane athlete. In all the ads, Tony is seen excelling in all sorts of sports without even breaking a sweat. He's even a VTuber now. <laughs> the skill difference is way too big. This is an absolute TKO, no doubt. And for the final monster battle, the Apple Jacks duo versus Boo Berry. Cinnamon and Bad Apple are competitive rivals, always trying to get to the Apple Jacks box before the other, but at heart, they know their besties. Aww. Cinnamon usually beats Bad Apple to the bowl using his skill in action sports like skateboarding and overall vibes, but Bad Apple has been shown to build insane contraptions to try to win the races. And in his commercials, Boo Berry is seen being invisible and facing through walls, you know, the regular ghost stuff, but also seems like he has a physical form at will. He doesn't seem to show off too many actual skills compared to the Apple Jacks duo, and while I think this could be a close match, Boo Berry is simply already dead? <laughs> like, I don't think he even can lose by technicality. <laughs> Looks like Cinnamon is not the winner, man. <laughs> And this brings us here, to the title card 1v1 round, the strongest competitors of each brand. Now I know you know the General Mills representative, saving the magic man for last, Lucky from Lucky Charms. Lucky is a leprechaun that simply has an insane arsenal of magical abilities. He can spawn in hot air balloons, ride on stars, transform objects, and many other spells. His evasion skills are crazy, and he always seems to have new tricks up his sleeves to show off in the ads. So who's the dreaded Kellogg's frontrunner? It seems like we've basically gotten most of them off the list, right? Well, this competitor uses the sneaky stealth trick by being a healthy cereal, Sunny. Not that one, Sonny from Raisin Bran. <laughs> so what makes Sonny so special? He's just a silly looking sun-themed mascot. He's got some scoops of raisins, I guess. It seems like Lucky takes this match easily, but this one ad changed the whole game for me. In this commercial from the 60s, Sonny is seen turning grapes into raisins. Okay, maybe that's just his special ability, right? He counts them up going one by one, but what he says here reveals his real identity. Under the sun. You know what this means? Sonny isn't just representing the sun, he is the sun! Turning grapes into raisins in seconds at will. He simply can't even be competed against. Lucky might have some special things going on, but there's no way he can run from the sun. He can't hide forever in the dark. Sonny will be back day after day, with no reason to stop for another 5 billion years. No matter what luck he has, Lucky absolutely cannot win this battle. So that was pretty clear. I mentioned that there would be a team battle earlier on, and I imagine that would turn out similarly. Sunny and Boo Berry would definitely be the last ones standing. I doubt that Boo would be able to affect Sunny at all, but I also doubt that Sunny's rays would even affect Boo. But at least in my mind, I feel like Sunny would somehow end up winning. So yeah, now we know. Let me know how you think this team battle would play out, and let me know if you want to see any other kinds of battles go down. And I guess that's it. Subscribe.